The last thing that we're going to have tonight is a really, really special treat from your newly crowned international competition of high school acapella Midwest region champions from the top acapella. <laughs> These students, they've been working hard on a set of music, they have a 10 minute time limit, and with that 10 minutes, their job is to tell a story. Their job is to connect with an audience. I was inspired to teach music um, with all of my involvement in the classical choir type stuff. And then I joined a college a cappella group at Grand Valley, they're called Euphoria, and I didn't think I would love it as much as I did, but it was a trip down to a choir festival in South Carolina, and I watched really competitive, high-level college a cappella there, and when I saw what was possible at the highest level, there was no turning back. I brought some of that inspiration to that group Euphoria at Grand Valley, and through directing them, got a lot of experience, and I arranged for that group while I was in it in college, and then I wanted to add it at Northview. So by the time I got to my second year as a teacher here, we had an a cappella group. I was inspired to teach music um, with all of my involvement in the classical choir type stuff, and then I joined a college a cappella group at Grand Valley. They're called Euphoria, and I didn't think I would love it as much as I did, but it was a trip down to a choir festival in South Carolina, and I watched really competitive, high-level college a cappella there, and when I saw what was possible at the highest level, there was no turning back. I brought some of that inspiration to that group Euphoria at Grand Valley, and through directing them, got a lot of experience, and I arranged for that group while I was in it in college, and then I wanted to add it at Northview. So by the time I got to my second year as a teacher here, we had an a cappella group. Little step up now. Ah, ah, hiding from you. Ah. So when we go and compete um, and we have a 10 minute set that has a theme and a purpose and um, a story, um, the best way we can engage our audience is by like harnessing the, our story individually while we sing and, and showing that with our body language and the way we interact with each other and our voices and things like that. So I think that that's how we best engage our audiences by telling a story. A lot of the times I engage with my audience during a performance by being super expressive and just singing to them, like I'm telling a story. It really helps to like envision our set as a message and as a conversation, like I'm talking to the audience, telling them what is going on. What are the few things that I'm sure of? If there's a part that's very serious, then we might stare straight into somebody's eyes if that's what that part makes that person feel. But it depends on what the music is telling us. The a cappella rehearsals, um, they are kind of dependent on where in the season we are. So we will have really intense going, singing, choreography, all the way for the two and a half hours when competitions are close, when performances are coming up. But because those come and go. Right after that will be a lot of discussion about what music we should be doing next, discussion about the performance and reflecting on it so we can be better for the next time, um, and always some laughter and some fun sprinkled in there too, because what's the point if not? So it depends on where we are in the season, but very often lots of hard work and really digging in to make great music. Feel that rhythm underneath.
a lot of the music you are cleaning in rehearsal all of the time. You clean in rehearsal. You sometimes learn certain parts of the music in rehearsal, but most of the time it's learning tracks and sheet music out of rehearsal at home all of the time, like just doing it, repeating, making sure you're really cleaning it at home as well. And just, you know, it's always hashtag grind. Couldn't keep me out. Yeah, song selection is one of the toughest things to do. I rely on the students mostly for that. They know what songs they like to listen to, and the songs you like to listen to are gonna be the ones you like to sing. Um, they also know what songs they like to sing the best as soloists. So we are very unlike most a cappella groups, especially most high school groups, where we don't audition for all of our solos. We will generally have discussions about who brings a lot to the table as a soloist, and then I make the final decisions about who the soloists are gonna be for certain performances before we even pick the music. So we will pick our music surrounding the soloist's voice and picking artists and songs that we think will show off their performance the best, rather than picking the song first and then hoping that we have somebody that can solo it really well. And that's very unlike your traditional choir music because with acapella, it's very soloist driven. A soloist is most often singing the entire song as a soloist with the background vocals and percussion behind them. So we put a lot of focus on the soloist first and then we pick the music around their voices. So being in from the top, I get to actually like perform to my strengths, which is like pop music and um, alternative music and all that different kind of stuff. And I also got asked by Mr. Philipson to like audition for acapella because it's not a, a group that a lot of people audition for because they don't know necessarily how to or like what to expect from acapella. I highly recommend being involved with music or choir in some way so you can have those basics, those foundations to audition successfully. The people with their choir experience are the most likely to get into the group successfully because they know how I work, they know what I'm listening for, and they know how to use their vocal technique to get them further in the group. I think one of the most memorable experiences was just this past weekend at our ICHSA semifinals. It was after our performance, we performed first in the concert, and we came backstage and just a wave of emotions hit me and how like beautiful and amazing the artwork is and how it connects everybody involved in it and it's just brilliant. This year, specifically, the thing that I will never forget is us running off stage after we won and um, just running off stage and Mr. P running from the audience to come see us and we were all hugging and crying and laughing and it was really, it was really special. And tonight's quarterfinal champion and also moving on to the semifinal. From the top! 